Try some Brewers Gatorade. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the Confluence Beer Garden uh, for another Beer of the Week release. I'm Josh, the production manager here, and I'm joined by Jacob. I'm one of the brewers. And we're here to talk to you about Blue Corn Lager. This is a longtime favorite from, summer from, staple from early days of Confluence. From back in the day. John may yeah. have made this beer year one. I'll have to ask him. If it wasn't year one, it was year two for sure. For In terms of brewery lore, this was the first beer ever. Probably not, <laughs> but whatever. That's definitely not true. You'll have to wait till next year's video to hear the truth. It's certainly the first beer we ever made with blue corn. That's true. Yeah. Still kind of the only one, sort of, depending on well. how much you count lager con chilies is like a whole different thing since yeah. it's blue corn base. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, that means for you chili heads out there, uh, we have, if blue corn's out, that does mean we have lager con chilies in the tank, so. Yeah. I, I will say this about lager con chiles, since it's not out yet and blue corn is out yet, you can add your own peppers to it. We have a, a regular who brings in, his name's Steve, he comes, sits at the bar, brings his little jar of jalapeno peppers, and he gets his thing of blue corn, and he puts a little bit of the juice in there and flops a couple jalapenos in there. He loves it because uh, he's waiting for lager con chile. So you can try that at home if you want. So you said you talked to John about why we use the blue corn instead of uh, traditional like Iowa yellow corn. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Uh, so John, uh, you know, a true beer nerd, um, as I think is a requirement if you're gonna if you're gonna work here, you gotta you gotta yeah. you gotta be at that level. So he uh, many years ago read in a book about um, this guy who was making a malt liquor out of red corn, white corn, and blue corn um, for this. Uh, for Fourth of July, Fourth I can only really assume. Yeah, we, one would assume. <laughs> uh, and so that sparked his interest in using different kind of corns. And he tried blue corn, um, and he thought that it had a nice um, sort of tortilla chip flavor and added a nice body, and a little bit of depth to it. Um, so he stuck with it. Uh, but yeah, basically it came out of a book, which is where a lot of our a lot ideas of stuff come, come from. from. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, makes sense. So yeah, it's uh, New Mexican blue corn. Uh, I think it's like a heritage variety. It's a heritage variety, it's all organic. It um, turns the mash purple like a porridge. Mm -hmm. It'd be sweet if this beer was purple when it was done, but that disappears pretty quickly during fermentation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, corn in general, uh, so you'll see it added in, you know, like the macro brands, particularly because it's a way to add Let's sugar go. without like a lot of flavor. In fact, it adds some sweetness to it. Um, like corn kind of comes across in a beer as kind of like a creamy sweetness, uh, but not a lot of other flavors. So uh, the macros, when they're trying to make a beer that, uh, you know, kind of tastes like water, corn's a, a good place to go to. And to a certain extent, we're using it here, I guess that way, um, to add flavor without adding, or add, uh, add some alcohol and add some sweetness without adding a lot of malt character. Because what we want, this is a classic American Pilsner, uh, adjunct Pilsner, really. I say classic, even though it's pretty big, honestly. But um, uh, the goal here is just kind of a super clean, easy drinking American Pilsner with some sweetness and some body. Mm -hmm. And uh, blue corn really helps uh, to, to get us there. I don't know about you, Jacob, but this is, uh, whenever this comes out in the summer, uh, before I became a carpet walker, like you guys call me, um, uh, when we were out there and the tanks were sweating and it was super hot and you're dehydrated and you finish the day, this was the beer I looked to the forward to the most. I would always drink at least one of these after work. Yeah, I'd say, you know, it's like a brewer's Gatorade in a lot of ways. <laughs> it fuels you back up, you're just running. Yeah. You're running on empty, now you're running on blue corn. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think this is a great example of craft beer where we're taking, you know, kind of more of a traditional white beer style and we're adding a little bit of depth, a little bit of something new and different. So I think it's great. Yep, 
and, and I mean, in traditional American craft fashion, uh, you know, uh, Bud checks in at like what, like four and a half percent ABV, but blue corn is 6.2%, right? So uh, it's pretty big beer, but it doesn't drink like a big beer. It just drinks sweet and refreshing and simple. That's the goal. Uh, if you come down here all the time, you might, uh, be a seasoned aficionado of all our beers, uh, but if you, you know, so maybe you're not looking for something quite, quite this straightforward, but if you bring your family and friends down and they're like, well, I only drink Bush Light, have them try Blue Corn. Yeah. I think they'll like it. This is a, this is a great place to get started with craft beer. For people who say they don't like craft beer, it's a great place to start. Yeah. See what, see what you think. Absolutely. Uh, Blue Corn, this is the base beer for, like we said, Lager Cone Chiles but also for Sawyer Serenade. Yeah, that's one of a, my very favorite beers. Uh, it just, not just because it's named after Not you. just, <laughs> but it does contribute to it. Yeah. It's both uh, Lager Con Chiles and Sawyer Serenade, both really good beers. It's built off of this right here. Because it's such a clean, uh, unobtrusive palate, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can really do a lot yeah. with it. It's a great but place to start. you also can just enjoy it as John Martin originally intended. Mm -hmm just like this on a nice summer day. On the patio with the sunshine and a cold beer. So come on down, enjoy some blue corn, enjoy <laughs> some ESB this weekend. Uh, it's a real beer drinkers weekend of releases for us. Oh yeah. Like nothing, nothing fancy, nothing super hoppy, nothing loaded down with a bunch of adjuncts, nothing with the snazzy bud words, uh, buzzwords, not bud words buzzwords that have become popular in craft brewing uh, over the last several years. Just some some hard-working beers mm -hmm. for hard-working folks. Indeed. We'll see you this weekend. Cheers. I'm moved out